As you've mentioned, ABP 980 is a, bio, is a trastuzumab biosimilar that is approved in um, the US and the European Union um, and um, is approved for um, uh, early breast cancer, for metastatic breast cancer if they're positive, and metastatic gastric cancer if it is positive. Um, as you can see from, from, from that approval, um, and from the fact that um, actually the standard in the um, uh, in, in HER2 positive early breast cancer in the new adjuvant setting is uh, one of the standards is dual blockade in combination with pertuzumab. Um, uh, we all know that um, uh, that we will have to combine that drug, that ABP980 or other trastuzumab biosimilars, with pertuzumab. Although we don't really have at the moment clinical data regarding that. The fact that this is possible is because uh, the approval um, uh, uh, for biosimilars includes the extrapolation. Um, so that means we only have one one approval study, uh, a registration, the registration trial, that was the LILAC trial, uh, where we used um, chemotherapy in combination with uh, ABP980 compared to the originator trastuzumab um, in neoadjuvant setting of um, early breast cancer. That led to the approval, um, but reality has changed uh, since the study was designed, and um, actually dual blockade is the standard. That is in our opinion, um, uh, um, possible after um, uh, the, this uh, this approval, but of course we want to uh, to increase confidence that this is possible. One of the uh, facts that um, uh, that will uh, lead to that confidence is a clinical trial, that's a GEPA X trial, where dual blockade. Um, was uh, in Germany from the German best group um, where the dual blockade um, was um, uh, conducted in combination of ABP980 and pertuzumab. But we also need um, what we call in the biosimilars world the totality of evidence approach. And, and that is why we conducted um, this investigation where we used um, a breast cancer cell line and we treated that breast cancer cell line with um, uh, trastuzumab um, originator in combination with pertuzumab and docetaxel um, or with the combination of ABP980 and um, pertuzumab and docetaxel. And um, we um, investigated different um, uh, endpoints of uh, response to that. And in all these um, uh, endpoints, we saw actually the same response in that breast cancer cell line to both therapies, um, uh, which means that um, uh, in, the, in, the, in that preclinical um, uh, study, we could demonstrate that the combination of pertuzumab is uh, yielding the same preclinical results. Um, and that is um, uh, something that is increasing confidence in that use also in clinical practice.